Welcome back to Sonic Unleashed, and now, ladies and gentlemen, Tomoito Nishihura took over. Um... <laughs> Sonic Runners. This, this is, my... is my first time back home in a while, but the place is uproar. Hmm. You're stuff. looking for Spagonia University. <laughs> See, Luis, this is how you do Italian accent. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're you Italian, see, so... the David in students milling about. A papera. <laughs> got a bit of an advantage, sir. No, Yo! Oh. It seems... Oh. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead. You're supposed to come by and pay your respects tomorrow, you know? Press X to pay respects. <laughs> I can use a British accent because they have both remember, British rem rem remember, Dweds, I'm playing the Xbox 360 version, so it should be press A to pay respects. <laughs> Still the most stupid as cute thing or something. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to show, I'm, for the sake of completion, I'm trying to show off the hub world somewhat. Sure, sure. Oh, look no at your hair. That. that windswept look suits you. Wind, windswept? What? Whoever did your do must be a real pro. What? I don't know, guys. I, I, I really don't think the NPCs have anything all that interesting to say, honestly. I think they have quite a few interesting things uh, to say. This is clearly a, a male boy, and it's called Lucia, a female name. Actually, uh, actually, uh, Teo, the boy is the one next to her. It's over uh, there. What? She's a that's girl? The... Yes, yeah, she, this she is supposed to be a girl. She... Yes, that's a girl. Okay. It's over that way, past the yeah, big mountain. Yeah, see the hair? It's uh, going I straight. Guess. It then turn right at the end. Sure, is still with us? Yes. Okay, because uh, you're about to have a role in a moment. Okay. Uh, then you ask someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I actually thought that was a boy myself. <laughs> Alright, there you yeah. go. That, okay, Shiro, your pearl voice. Uh, uh... <laughs> what's, the, what's the big rush? Oh, I get it. The planet split. So you're running around, right? At the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. Grandma says that it's times like these you ha you have to stay calm. That's right, my dear I'll, child. I'll, 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 that's, I'll, I'll, that's actually one of the few Sonic NPCs. Game, in a true Sonic Unleashed game, the NPCs do not complain. All right, uh, Dwight, you be this yeah. guy. You be this okay. guy. This is, this is terrible. You see, I came to this town on a business matter. Hey, hey Dwight, your American accent is terrible. But I don't care. But now with the world in shambles, I'm stuck just sitting here. I've got appointments to keep with clients in other locations, too. Okay, uh... Um, Have you ever heard of a little thing called... I actually, I, I actually like the little girl, if only because her design is fucking adorable. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, were you talking to me? Uh, where's the university? Oh, the university, yes, it's, um, straight ahead, beyond the fountain, and a whole pack of rope. Oh, wait, sorry, that we're not there yet, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jason Griffith. Oh, hello there! Head it's of funny story. because my name is Jason as well. Look, man, you give oh, a hearty and uh... heartfelt greeting. <laughs> I think you're a bit ahead of us. Uh, so where are you? Um, three thirty-three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're Just like two a, seconds. Like, 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 like uh, one or two seconds out there. Oh, whatever. That's, that's, that's okay. Like, whatever. It's still fine. Don't worry. Most most of this is gonna be not. Oh, oh okay. What the. Yes, behold, uh, we're still using the Havoc physics engine. And yeah. there's ragdoll physics for the broken bug base. Well, it's better Wait, than Is this Dark it? Souls or something? Basically, <laughs> ba but basically, um, Teo, it's a good idea to break those parts because there's usually a metal in there. <laughs> okay. Again, I'll say I like how they did metals better in the SD version. Me too. No, we we've already discussed that. Yeah. Anyway, cutscene. So, what next? Didn't I just literally talk to you? Hi, Jason. Uh, and a whole pack of robots. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be one of those moments where Chip is supposed to be funny, but uh, it just comes across as annoying, to me at least. And, and if I was that hungry, uh, I don't know how long I would last. I'd rather be dead. Uh, Honestly, I think it would have been funnier if he just stopped at, um, he must be hungry by now. 
Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Unleashed fans, but I like this game, but I don't like Chip. Uh, yeah. You could have cut out half that sentence and it would have been funnier, in all honesty. And even then, it wouldn't have been that funny. No. Mm. Sorry. What about you, Joe? What, what's your, since you're <laughs> the, usually the most positive guy of, of the group, uh, what are your thoughts on Chip? Mm, I'm... I'm kind of in different to chip i mean i'll i mean i don't hate him by no means in fact uh, he was actually a lot less annoying than i thought he was going to be initially i don't know something about his voice has that tone that you just makes you think he's going to be annoying yeah and i think but but i will give him this he didn't turn out to be that annoying i guess my main issue with him is like well he seems a bit. Uh, oh, good, seems good, a... Old, uh, good old faulty hit detection on rails. Actually, 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 Teo, the reason that happened was because there's an invisible wall because I'm not allowed to go to that part of the hub world yet. Oh. Yep. Anyway, going back to it, yeah, I guess my main problem with. I, I don't. I guess I kind of see him as a bit of a Gary Stew. I'm not saying that he is a Gary Stew, but. You know, he has a bit of the Gary Stu vibes to him, like, he's Sonic's new friend, and, well, and not spoiling about the big twist concerning Chip, that did feel a bit, uh, weird. He's, um, he's, he's, um, he's you-know-what's relative, you-know-what-his-name-is. Anyway, sure, are you? Professor? Yeah, I saw a professor. He was flying to Missouri. Um, <laughs> I'm flying to London, not Missouri. And there were tons of machine monsters, too. We're not at that game yet. <laughs> yeah, she's adorable. <laughs> well, it's interesting. You just brought up Leighton and then she talks about the machine monsters like the ones in Last Petter. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't right. what I was referring to, but whatever. Well, she could do him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah like, 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 like the old girl said, the professor was carried to Missouri, so let's talk to tell us about that. Of course. Did you find anything out about the professor? Oh yeah! Surprise, folks! Uh, technically, the Tails um, Omatic or whatever he calls that thing actually debuted in this game. Uh, it's the Tails. Yeah, the Tails Omatic. I think that's the name. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Actually, I thought it's called the Miles Electric. Oh yeah, it's it. The Ma it's uh, you're the right. You're... Yeah, yeah, you're right. I... Never mind. Brain we fart. Mixed up with something else. <laughs> Bra brain fart. Up, up and away! I didn't know I had a name. Oh boy. Um, well, you do, Tails. It's right there. Miles Electric. It's right there in the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm, the Wii U before the Wii U. All right. So <laughs> now it's night. Okay, guys. Remember how awesome the the, uh, the, the first two uh, daytime stages were, and how we let after that kind of uh, the game kind of dragged us down by pulling us into a night stage. Well, well like first two well, daytime stages. Uh, I forgot. Well, 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 well. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do another night stage again. Sorry. Wait, 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 hold on. First two daytime stages, we've done a past dose. Uh, there, there was the prologue and then the one from the what Greek Elder. Oh. oh, those two daytime stages, I never really considered them. Looking for ones, but yeah. It is technically, it is, uh, the game considers it Act 1, so sure. as, as far as the game's concerned, it is a daytime stage. You, for, okay. It, the, 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 despite being really short. Anyhow, there's no professor here. Go look someplace else. Your African accent is also what? terrible. Because this coming from an African. Fine, jo oh, fi fi fine, Jova. Fine, Jova. Fine, Jova. You play the uh, the Africans. Go <laughs> ahead. I'm just kidding. I'm... Jova, I wasn't yeah, trying to be African. I was just trying I to be a cranky old man. I know it. Oh. I know it. I know it. Jeez, take a joke. Jova, your American accent is terrible. Am I the only one who thinks Sega really is walking <laughs> the line with the representation of this kind of African village? Eh? What do you mean? On a thin line of, uh, of of danger of falling into racism. Uh, I think I mean, it does it pretty well. So far, but... Uh... Oh. I, I can see what they're doing with it, and it, it honestly doesn't Okay, Joe, you play this guy. Oh. You must have come from somewhere very far away. Do you know about that building? Stop staring into my soul. You... you, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The strange building that showed up on the other side of the village. Gee, I wonder if it's another egg carrier or something. I've got good eyesight, so I can see it just fine. I get that. Yeah. I, I can see that, you yeah. You haven't blinked. Oh, now you've blinked. I don't like the looks of it, though. It makes me very uncomfortable. Like what you're don't, doing right now. Don't blink, Dweebs. Don't even blink. He's not <laughs> a weeping angel. Um, he if, won't... if you blink, it'll kill you. Don't you mean zap me back in time? 
So very take, recently, so kill. take uh, me it's back. Top rule stuff, Jova. You cannot understand. So take me back <laughs> in time to another, another world, world where you can be, be mine. Uh, uh, we're out of tune with each other. What are you? What are you singing? A song from Sonic Car. Ah, oh. Okay. Meanwhile, Sonic Car seems to decide which direction he wants to go. <laughs> Let's go towards the mystical looking portal. I'm All sure right. that'll get where we need to go. But you know, honestly, I'm okay with us doing a night stage first if uh, Pedro, are you Pedro, are you Pedro, did you intentionally get lost to Sonic or were you you know trying to uh No no no, no. I was just remember. um looking around for medals. So what <laughs> do remember do in the hub world? They give you more health as um, um as Werehog Sonic. No, no, I, yes, uh, in, in the stages for itself, yeah, but what in the hub world itself? They uh, give you more health. If you get a hundred, uh, actually, there are enemies that can show up in the hub world, like those right there. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Not, okay, to, not um, to mention, there's always the thing that if you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life, so. Okay. Like that. So yeah, basically, again, go out of your way to get these. Trust me, you'll need them. Go it's on. like, it's like okay, honestly, I can understand metals being used to, you know, unlock new stuff, but having that be the level barriers is, yeah. Okay, let's uh, beat some bad guys. At least there's no battle here. For once, for once, the annoying battle. You know, you know what, I, you know, you know what I think would have been fine-ish uh, if they did it Kingdom Hearts style. Where there's a battle oh, theme yeah. per level, a battle theme each, a new battle or theme each level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it would, it would, it would, it would help so much. I agree. Anyway, let's. Uh, and we'd get more lovely music. Let's grab Apple. Hey, I, was, I was wondering. Um, I was wondering. Um, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I was wondering. I was wondering. Um, in the Pirates of the. You're in, what was that game that had the Pirates of the Caribbean level? King, King Hearts, Kingdom Hearts yeah, 2. Pirates of Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 2. 2. Yeah, yeah. Um, did that, what What music did that turn to when you had a battle theme? So, uh, uh, he's, he's, a a he's a pirate. He's, he's a pirate. A pirate theme. Oh, oh, the hands in the one. Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. Ba basically Unfortunately, the original one. Kingdom Hearts no, 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 2 no. version was crappy as... But fortunately, with wait, the, wait, the, wait, 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 hold on, Dwibs. Wait, hold on, Dwibs. Actually, Dwibs, Hans Zimmer did not do the original Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that no, was no, actually no. done by Claws. And, uh, and a bunch yeah. of other uncredited people, apparently. Um, what, uh, what, hap what happens in Kingdom Hearts 2, Dwibs, is that uh, the when you're just walking about exploring and shit, it's an original piece by Yoko Shimomura. But uh, yeah. when, when, whenever there's a battle, it's to, it switches to he's a pirate. But mm -hmm. even though it's a, it's a still a rearrangement made by Shimomura herself. Uh, yeah, and but fortunately in the HD the, the version. Problem the, was, the pro yeah, the problem was not uh, it was that Shimomura do, did not have a lot of uh, um, what's the name of good instruments to use. She she was stuck to use MIDI tunes, uh, so the results was a bit choppy and uh, basically so unhearable. Yeah, two point five orchestral. Yeah, uh, did a very good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll give two point five. That's one of the tracks that I'm actually that I actually think is an improvement. Yeah, until we started the level and already we've got this um music. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we technically have sort of started the level. Well, we barely Remember started the level then. Sorry, bad use of words. Yeah. Remember Dibs, this isn't the Wii slash PS2 version. So yeah, audience, uh again, go there. There's a sun model sun model there. <laughs> because uh uh, as Jova can confirm, oh, from... one hundred percent completion is guided by Pedro. Pedro teams. Well, I'll be right, I'll be right. Again, again, Dwebs, get used to this theme. You'll hear it a lot over the course of this playthrough. Okay, I'll, I'll be right. Anywho, Pedro, you're saying I can confirm something. Uh, you're actually going to need more sun medals than moon medals because uh, the minimum level of sun me moon medals you need is level six, and the minimum, but the minimum level of sun medals you need is level seven because the last. The, the first act of Adabat, the, uh, the, the first day time stage of Adabat requires uh, level 7 of Sun Metals. Yep. So make sure to find a lot of Sun Metals when you're in the night time stage. Mm hmm. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just. I just like, so I which buttons you alternate to for using the combos? Um. That would be uh, B and Y. Okay. 
Oh, I know. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I know no, actually, no, it's X and Y. It's sorry, X and Y. Sorry. I know you said it's just simple to mash one single button. I know. I was just asking. Uh, uh, I the do. Combo potential. I was actually, I was actually doing a few, uh, like, a, like one or two combos um, earlier. Uh, I, I do mix it up with a few combos sometimes, but honestly, most of the time I'm just too bored to because I don't really like these stages. <laughs> Uh, see, okay. see, I'm, 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 even, I'm even mindlessly mashing at this point. I was literally mashing at nothing. <laughs> yep. Uh, don't you? Uh, have, have, do you also have a grab attack or something for the most? Yes, moderate? yes, you do. Okay. But for the most part, it's kind of mo again most part job. I'm saying most part, it's kind of useless. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just uh, again being for we're still at the checking. Start of the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking mm -hmm. for medals. Uh -huh. Because trust me, these little buggers can be found in quite a few unsuspecting places. Yes, they can. <sighs> and this is still also, playing. What, what that icon on the robot on top of the robots means? Um, eh, it's emotes at times. It's be and also it shows when you can mash into them. Yeah, oh. I think it's also a prompt for. Uh... Basically, it means that they that they're after you. They saw you. Like for example, like let's say for example, an enemy still hasn't seen you. Uh, when it does see you, that icon starts popping up. Basically, it's the you've been caught icon, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though you can't really stealth in this game. <laughs> well, it's a werewolf. How stealthy you think it can get? All right, Yay! more Damn. more rudimentary puzzles. There aren't really puzzles. Well, well, to be fair, they do. Well, to be fair, they don't at least try to pass them off as puzzles, unlike some other games. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I, well, I'll, well, I'll give it this. At least Sonic isn't telling me I can push this block so that I can get through the platforms. Yeah. Pressing this okay. button might do something. No shit, Amy. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Next, you'll be telling me. That, next, you'll be telling me that Dick Cheney is kind of an asshole. <laughs> Whoop. Okay, a uh, little tip. This particular alternate path, it's uh, if you fail once, that's it. You can't go through it again. You'll have to restart the level. But uh, as a as a, if you do manage to successfully go through that path, you can actually skip that puzzle altogether. So yeah, okay. yeah. Cr credit for. Okay, so a point there for rewarding the player for exploring. Yeah, I'll be all quite honest. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed is more good than bad going for the, the, it. The problem, the problem is that, um, as far as I'm remember, but then again, I only play the obligatory. If, in fact, I might as well get this warning out of the way right now. Yes, I will have two extras part where I'm showing off the DLC stages. However, I will only be showing off the daytime stages because, quite honestly, I ca I just can't be bothered, Jova. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, real people. Oh, I don't blame you. Stuff. I don't blame you, Pedro. From what I heard the DLC stages are very difficult. Actually, the only ones I I, I choose, uh, the only ones they thought the DLC stages I do um, show off are the ones that are generally new stages, not harder versions of uh, older, older stages. Hey, because, Pedro, you gonna try any of the hot dog missions? Uh, no. I've already oh, done that. I've, 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 I, I, Jova, as Puni said in the in his Final Fantasy VIII review, I did my time. Okay? I did my time. <laughs> God forbid you do the hot dog mission for Eggman Land. I actually, I actually didn't have much uh, problem uh, with those, believe it or not. I actually had more problem with uh, some other hot dog missions rather than... Th I actually thought the, the Eggman Land ones were kind of easy, honestly. What hot yeah, dog too. missions? Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dibs. Could you repeat that? What hot dog missions? Um, you know, you know, that, um, that guy, the hot dog seller who gives you hot do extra missions for stages? Like a, a time trial and shit. Well, the 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 egg, we were talking about the Eggman Land ones. Okay. Okay. So. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da. <laughs> but in this case, you, you purposely choose to not be stealthy. That's more your fault. In this uh, case. Actually, actually, Teo, yeah. I, actually, Teo, I'm purposely killing them so that they won't bother me when I'm actually pushing blocks because I'm gonna have to be pushing the blocks. And uh, can you do a stealth kill from behind, like for example, th that that and those, that th there's that Teo, and let's not forget Teo. This is an ex this game as an experience system. So killing enemies is actually good because I get to. Uh, you know, 
raise my stats. So I yeah, know, I, know. I kind of so, uh, okay. If um, if the yellow uh, uh, thing is rumble, it's a thing is are your experience points. What are the uh, streaming purple lines? It gives you oh, more meter, meter, more yeah, the unleashed meter. Okay. Okay, so yeah, push the block, raise the platform. We've done this. Yava, yava, yava. Trust me, this is about as complicated as these puzzles get. <laughs> well, I don't it's, them as puzzles. It, it, it's standard hack and slash puzzle logic. I get, that I, I can do. Okay, reason, this, brings up, uh, this, this brings up one of my main problems I have with uh, the post-06 Sonic team, is that they seem to... Like, they seem to run out of cre ideas after only a few daytime stages, so they have to create some kind of alternate gameplay style to... Like, uh, again, Jova, I know you're going well, to interrupt actually, me. Yeah, I know you're going to interrupt me. Well, well, hold on, let me finish, well, let me finish, Jova. Actually, let me finish. Pedro, that's not the reason why. I mean, actually, they did give a reason why there's not so much of the daytime stages. It's the fact that, like, well, they had to make the daytime stages extremely expansive and big for Sonic, and it was costing them a lot of money for the daytime stages. So, and so, basically, they sought to fill in the rest of the game with something else. I would rather have a consistently awesome short game than a game that's longer, but only half of it is awesome. Oh, I agree, oh, I agree. Oh, I agree that it's not an excuse that works, but they actually did give a reason for why they um, like, apparently... Uh, it's uh, like, for example, let's compare this to... Okay, like, like for example, the, the, most of the gameplay time in this game is the the, the, the nighttime stage. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. It is. Um, they're the longer, they're the ones that take the longer to complete and shit, but, uh, okay. Now let's think back to Sonic Colors, which was only daytime stages, pretty much. Um... That game was incredibly short, and so was Generations. And uh, even Lost World, despite being an improvement in length, it was still a pretty short game. So I guess Sonic, I guess modern Sonic team kind of runs out of ideas at some point and can't really make that many stages. Well, honestly, I kind of can't see what they're going for of how expensive it is to make them. I will agree, though, that they rather should just go for short games if they feel they have to do that for money's sake. But yeah, I mean, like, well, I mean, I'll be quite honest. I don't really see it as much as a lack of innovation, so much as it actually is a legitimate expensiveness of how big Honestly, this is. Honestly, I think the thing that would improve this is if um, Sega and Sonic team went, "Fuck the critics, we're putting tails and knuckles in here." Yeah, that would help too. <laughs> it worked in Sonic Adventure. Like it's for me. For me, it's something like uh, when I play games like. Um, uh, the 3D Mario games and the Rayman, the recent Rayman games, uh, and the Donkey Kong Country games made by uh, Retro Studios. Those games had a shit ton of levels. Um, well, and it, well, it's like I say, Pedro. They actually, I do kind of agree with the reason. Like, well, it, they, the stages are big. Well, 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 well. Whoa. Then again, that's just for the boost. Well, <laughs> then again, well, then, well, then again, that's just for the boost trilogy. Actually, um, the thing is, Sega doesn't boost have trilogy. as much money as Nintendo does. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Because Sega does. Because Sega is a third party publisher compared to Nintendo, a big console maker. Well, but then again, Ubisoft. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, to uh, be uh, fair, though. Well, then again, the, I, did, did, Rayman, did Rayman Origins and Legends have big budgets? Uh, kind of. Remember that Michelin still, still has a huge position at Ubisoft. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Basically the, the only reason why we're not milking that enough is because you at the the main guys at Ubisoft that are not Michelin sir have still their ads stuck up their asses pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, um basically the difference between Unleashed and Generations and then that of Colors is that like well Colors' levels are a lot more shorter and also more platform based. Whereas with Unleashed and Generations, they're kind of like really long linear levels that have to be stretched extremely long because dun, Sonic dun, 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 is a and the because Sonic moves a lot faster than the average platformer, in the Boost Trilogy anyway. However, beyond the Boost Trilogy, they should hope we get back to having so, more so, so better both lengthy Both robots levels. have uh, chainsaw swords. <laughs> yes, they do. Wow, the robots so, are... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Sega predicted time uh, in the sense that they knew they would have purchased the Relic Studios, which holds the Warhammer 40k video game license. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Team can predict the future. Uh, explanation for the for those who don't know, probably like Shiroi. Uh, in Warhammer 40k, basically one specific race uh, uses uh, chainsaw swords, like kind of like similar to the ones used by those robots, pretty mm -hmm. much. 
You know what? Um, hmm. That's the, thing, that's, that's the thing they're trying... To, the, the, the funnest thing about this alleged new Sonic Team Sonic base, you know, you know, coming out apparently next year, well, by uh, next year, I mean, by, the, by next year, I mean, 2016, it's, it's trying yeah, to guess what it's so. going to be. Yeah, it's, it's, a bit, a... it's a bit, it's a bit weird that uh, Sega did not say anything about Sonic at E3. It, it's weird. It, like, it, it's uh, I guess they don't have much to say. It, or it, it, it can go either way. It can like be, literally be anything because Sonic Team is quite possibly the most unpredictable developer I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> because... Honestly, I I think they'd feel uncomfortable appearing at E3. Um, like for example, because with I'd that, be... the, the impre the, I mean. The impression they gave by doing that is that, oh yeah, you're getting Sonic Boom, uh, Fire and Ice, at the end. Have fun. Yeah, after that announcement, I'd be ashamed to show my face at E-Freak. Well, if you had something to I'll show... Just quote, but... I'll, I'll just quote uh, that clip from Doug Walker that a lot of people have been mentioning um, uh, when that, uh, in reaction to that announcement. You can't be this stupid! You can't! <laughs> <laughs> Well, they uh, are. Yeah, to be fair, I actually do see why they're making a sequel to Shattered Crystal. But it's sold like shit. I know it the was thing. The better of the two, but uh, I mean, yeah, I... and it got the better reception. Not that it got good reception anyway. It but... got, it, it's still in the thirties. Both say. both games are in the thirties in the Metacritic uh, page. <laughs> Apparently, it's because the TV show is still a hit, and also the toys are selling well enough. So my guess is they want to have another shot at the video so, games. Basically, it's it's a giant buy our toys commercial. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll at least improve that game. I just they... well, I've heard. Um, they... I've heard a lot of conflicting um, reports saying apparently they're going to make the levels shorter. Yeah, they're basically... And apparently it's going to be more speed-focused. Uh, Thank what says, you! Like, well, apparently... From the trailer, to be honest. So they're removing the Metroidvania elements and are making the linear more sonic-y, like... Uh... But again, yeah, there's well, a lot of... should have been But then again, there's a lot of... But then again, there's a lot of... Well, apparently what they're- hold on, let me finish. Well, apparently what they're doing is like, well, they're giving you the option to explore by putting the exploration bits above and below the main path. If you want to explore, then you go up or or um, you go above or below. But if you just want to speed through, usual Sonic style, you just keep to the main path. Uh, here's my question, though, Jova. Why couldn't Shadow Crystal be like that? You I honestly do not know. Because it was Sanzaru's first Sonic game, Fair I guess. question, because I'm trying to imagine how Sonic Team and Sega process that. It's like, hmm. By the way, can I talk about how much I fucking team. hate this puzzle? Because it's incredibly yeah, hard for team? because it's incredibly hard for me to judge how high how high I can raise that without not being able to jump there and then jumping yeah, on the other Yeah, it's a block. bit weird. In, in a standard hack and slash game, usually with this kind of platform, you just have to go full uh, uh, swinging with the I whole. I fucking hate that thing. puzzle. Like it's it's so hard to judge how high and and low <laughs> it should be for me so I can jump on things. Ugh. Yeah. I hate if that they gave puzzle. a border to the to the border, it would have helped. Well, then again, I've heard um, I've heard a lot of conflicting. Oh, um, so you, so you can uh, upgrade yourself even mid stages. You can upgrade. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can upgrade at any time in the pause menu. Oh, I was gonna say I've heard a lot of conflicting reports on that, so I guess it'll be. Um... But, then, but then again, I don't usually believe reports anyway until the said product comes out. Mm -hmm. Whether it be game, film, book, anything. Sure. Now, what I was saying, Jovo, was that how did they process, like, we could make a new HD Sonic game, something that people have been wanting, or we could make a sequel to the game series that nearly made us bankrupt. Well, well to be yeah. fair, yeah. Be, be fair be Sonic fair. Team has nothing to do with that. But, yeah. And, I and, know, and, 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 and also, and besides, back, and besides so. that, that new game Whatever. they're making still might be in development. Not to mention, uh, Shiro, did you see that Japanese stream where Izuka was showing off Rise of Lyric, and he had that famous moment where he kind of went, uh, like uh, really? Yeah, like oh, uh, you can you, you can even kind of you can even you can tell Izuka. You can, you can think for besides, um, besides, um, besides, Shiwoi, would you rather have a um, 
Would you rather have another Sonic Boom spin-off game or Sonic Team having to rush this new one they're making for 2015? I love they're all BRB. Bet anyway. When BRB was talking oh. about when BRB was talking about the new designs they had for Sonic and and, and company, uh, they said that Izuka's first reaction was, "Ugh." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Izuka's not a fan of the Boom uh, series. <laughs> And honestly, okay. I can't blame him. What rank did you get? Oh, rank S. S. Yeah, you got you got the shit. I mean, the S rank. Actually, uh, the <laughs> the rank S in the day in the, uh, the night times is actually very easy to get as long as you're thorough and killing shit. Okay. All right. Let's uh, see how Pedro powers himself up. Oh. Basically, I'm thinking. <laughs> hmm. Well, Pedro, if Sonic were a thinking series, you'd be number one at it. But um... well, this is usually how I do my this is usually how I do my RP my experience distribution of things uh, in RPGs. Uh, yeah. I think things through. Yeah, he has a point, Dwibs. I mean, this is one of those games where you actually do have to think carefully of how you level up. Like uh, in Dragon Quest VIII, uh, uh, it's uh, it's the kind of thing I always do. Like I always try to be thorough in keeping my um, in uh, keeping my skill points allocated uh, equally for all, all my stats, so I can keep uh, a balanced character. So uh, what's the level cap? Uh, Ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> actually, I, actually, no. I, what am I talking about? Sorry. Uh, it depends on each stat. Like some stats have only ten. Like for example, this the, the ring energy level only has like <laughs> five levels, I think, or is it? To, or is it the speed level that has no the speed level the speed stat has ten levels. But oh. uh, what it, does the ring energy do? Is this like every time you get hit, you lose less rings? Or? No, no. Basically, sure. The bigger okay. ring, the ring energy uh, increases your boost bar. Oh, okay. Uh, professor. Hello. How dare they call this culinary concoction food? Hi, Dan Green. I'm surprised he can see because of his eyebrows being in the way of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. I actually really love his design. I, f I, I think it's very, I think it's very funny. <laughs> so, so this is Professor Layton's brother. Before uh, how Professor do you know Layton. Tales? Actually, Professor Layton came out in Japan in 2007. So technically, Layton did come before. God damn it! Man. God damn it! First Konami, now it, it, Sega. It, it, stop it, it, ripping it, it, me off in the street. Objection, professor. It, it looks like more like one of the first doctors. Yes, off. Dweebs, well, it, it, you it, do first. Well, you do first. Dweebs, it looks honestly more like one of the first doctors who's uh, William Hartnell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, okay, 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 uh, okay, question, everybody. Uh, have you been enjoying the story and character interaction so far? Uh, it's been okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, in that case, nah. well, well, enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it because uh, after this, after after this part, uh, we're after this at the end of this. Uh, now we're pretty much done. We're gonna, from this point on, all cutscenes are about is uh, generic light and darkness exposition by Professor Pickle, and that's pretty much it. At least you're not getting uh, your, story, mileage, uh, uh, your mileage. May vary. Your mileage may vary on that pretentious, one. Too much serious uh, character interactions, like in Sonic 06. Like uh, for now on, it's mostly just uh, light darkness, light darkness, shit, temples and shit, and uh, and and and. and, 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 and page. There actually are a few moments. Not to mention that, that there is the dialogue in between, just not voiced and cutscene wise. You can't just generalize it all like that. Oh, and Chip always doing the chocolate thing, which is not funny, and yet he does it constantly. But Pedro, chocolate is good. Well, well, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give um, this scene one thing. It's still more, it, it's still a little less boring than the exposition scene with Cliff in the, in Rise of Lyric. I'm not even kidding. That's it, it, uh, Cliff uh, Richards in the in that game. No, no, no. There's a character called Cliff in Rise of Lyric, who's pretty much has the same role as Professor uh, Pickle does, except while Professor Pickle has a personality, Cliff is just there to spout exposition about. So uh, yeah, how exactly uh, many uh, interdimensional dark gods uh, does the Sonic world uh, uh, inhabit? So. <laughs> uh, Teo meets the Sonic universe, the most inconsistent Sonic universe uh, universe in the history of fiction. 
I know. If we if have it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like they, they have a bunch even of get their geography places. straight. It's like they have a. It's like they have. It's like there's a line of evil dark. Um, God, actually, Izuka explained in line, that when, once. When one dies, another one comes in to take his place. Actually, actually Izuka explained that once. Uh, Izuka explained when once he took over Sonic Team and uh, shortly uh, before Colors came. Well, I, I think it was after Colors actually. Uh, after Colors came out, Izuka said in one interview, uh, I even I knew because I read it on the Sonic Stadium article for it, that uh, Izuka said that the problem with um, the, that, that this decade of Sonic Adventure up until Black Knight is that. Um, uh, basically, there was no one trying to basically oversee everything and trying to make sure the franchise was at least somewhat consistent. So basically, everybody was just, you know, making uh, Sonic games based on what they think Sonic could be like or should be like. So basically, there was no one... So basically, one... starting with the Boost trilogy, they're actually trying to think things consistent now. Except for... and then Lost World kind of threw that out, out, out the window because... Wait, 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 oh wait, objection! Actually, Lost World didn't, since Lost World took place on a completely different but world Jova, that, was, that, but... that was floating above Earth. Okay, okay, question it then, Jova. It didn't change anything that was actually on Earth. Okay, question then, Jova. In, uh, in, the, in the Boost Trilogy games, the trees actually look like trees. Um, in Lost oh, World, God. in Lost World, they look like uh, Minecraft trees. Explain that to Jova me. Jova in the Boost trilogy, Simple. different Sonic art was style. Also in another world. But shouldn't? But if they're trying to make the world more consistent, shouldn't they try to keep the art style consistent? Well, they actually did explain that they did it for the frame rate. They they apparently did a more different art style so that they could get a 60 frames per second frame rate. I guess. But could anyway, we not have Minecraft? Hey, games? have you seen my granddaughter? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear, no. No. <laughs> She's everywhere. That kid should have been home a long time ago. I wonder where she is. <laughs> At least she's not speaking a um, lot of gibberish in the sped up text. Mr. Wright, well, can I ask you a question? What? Why are some characters from your franchise invading others? Tell me the same reason you uh, the, knows that other judge, franchises. Uh, judge, honestly, Ace Attorney is a Capcom franchise. Capcom is fa famous for invading other universes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look no further than Ryu. Yeah. Poor bastard. <laughs> actually, 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 Ryu is pretty awesome to play in Smash. I, I really no, like I know, it. but the poor bastard has been milked to death in every single crossover Capcom did. Of course. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da. Da, 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 okay. I made you this world map. I thought it might come in handy. Huh. Well, Tails, you can make a world map in G like 30 Tales. minutes. Well, thank you, Tails. Where were you when we when we were playing Final Fantasy XIV? We could have used the world map. Yeah. Also, my question still stands. <laughs> uh, what is Gun doing in all of this? It doesn't exist anymore. Like, I'm not oh even, I'm not even kidding. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even well, kidding. I, 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 uh, actually, Pedro Gun does exist, but apparently for some reason they're just not around at the moment. It's, it's, I it's guess, like, I guess the, it's I like guess Shield uh, during uh, tour, uh, during uh, Iron Man Two. I <laughs> guess um, I guess the government got fed up of um, oh, Captain of America Gone, too, or, no, of, of Gone constantly messing up their missions, so um, they disbanded. Final them. Fantasy Seven, where they just can't be bothered to deal with you because they're on holiday. <laughs> Apparently, we're to assume that Gun is busy dealing with the world threat in a different location. <laughs> that was the explanation. I guess. And how is everyone not dying because the planet's cores exposed and not I, the parts of the Earth? Th to me, this because is still... Because luckily, it all split in places that were water, and luckily, no one just happened to be on those fault lines when they <laughs> cracked. To me, the world adventure is still the best orchestral main theme the series has had yet. Yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I love the Sonic Colors one, but I, I love the John Williams nature of this one. Nice going. Okay, now let's actually try moving. We want to get to the Hey, hey, I'm Tails. Okay. Jeez, Wibbs, why did Smith you and try to steal people's roles? Uh, well, he's Dick Layton. Because so. I'm Dick Layton, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I, yeah, I always like to try and steal people's roles, even if it's by complete accident. <coughs> Vera. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Uh, will we actually get back to something interesting? Yes, we will actually. The daytime stages. Well, a daytime Yay. boss, but yeah, sure. See you, everybody.